Vincenzo Amore, everybody. Yeah. Uh, formerly known as, right, Vince McMahon owns that one. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Enzo. <laughs> call, me, call me whatever you want. <laughs> Does he still own it? Oh, yeah, you know it. <laughs> the old man owns it all, dude. He's the best. Son he, of a bitch. He keeps, owns a lot. Yeah, he does. He keeps leaving and coming back. Have you back. seen him lately? Yeah, I watched the thing. He's like a cane now, right? He has a no, cane no, 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 no. He he looks like he looks like Walt Disney a bit these days. Really? Yeah, he's got a little pencil thin mustache. Yeah, he's got a real. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like, the bottom. Yeah. Stash. John Waters. I'll leave on it steroids. to you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> to say whatever you yeah, want about Vince, the guy. Pull up Vince. <laughs> got nothing bad to say about. Him. No, but. dude, I, he's, he's core values, dude. Rape, racism, and mental retorts. I love it. <laughs> All that if you shit. Look at, if you look at WWE in the 80s and 90s, it was core values to the fucking extreme. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Him, dude. oh, my God. What the yeah, fuck is he doing? He looks dude, like he why, looks- why dye your hair at that point? Like, it just... Well, also because he's it, already did a stint with the gray. Yeah. That guy is... Uh... Yeah, it's just... Dude, there's a level of old... Where like there's there's a point where dyeing your hair will make you look younger, you know, when it just starts graying. But when your face is that old, yeah, really, it, you just. I can't. mean, I, I think he looks pretty fucking good. For, he's like seventy. No, he's older than that. How no, old I'm not saying McMahon? he Way doesn't look that. good. I'm saying the black. He'd look better in gray. Uh, yeah, he would probably look more natural. But he's uh, he's what? seventy-eight years old. Yeah, That's, he looks great for seventy-eight. Is no, he seventy-eight? Yeah. That's crazy. He's that old? He does look good for good for him, man. Doubt. Good right? for yeah, him. I heard he walks with a cane. Are him and his wife still together? Do they break up? Those kind of rich power couples don't really break. Uh, we up don't a talk lot. about those things. You know what I'm saying? That's like an episode <laughs> of Succession. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I can't even comprehend what's going on there. That's what you I'm saying. I mean? Like, they probably yeah, don't, don't even sleep in their the feet same room. Don't touch the ground. That's for sure, dude. They're floating. Are you? Do you? They've got devices, and they're. You talk about like fucking new technology. These yeah. people got it. This guy has got to figure it out. And so do you Do you always kind of watch what you say because you're hoping to one day get the call to go back to the WWE? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, I, you I really mean, are. Mr. McMahon's I, a good man. Bro. You don't say nothing bad about I Mr. Am, McMahon. I mean, I mean, bro, my life is Mickey Rourke in wrestling, dude. I mean, I'm fucking in and out of these armories. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's, I get it. You know what I mean? You still love it? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, bro. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I'm a wrestler, bro. That's what I wanted to do since I was a kid. It's what I'll do till, you know, I'll be fucking 78 in a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, uh, I had a casket. 78? That's 40 years past a wrestler's life expectancy anymore. (laughs) Touche, dog. (laughs) Touche. Do you have anything fucked up about you from wrestling? Like, uh, any injuries? I got a sciatica going right now. I can't fucking sell it, though, because I'm a fucking grizzled veteran. But uh, there's so fucking, dude, I had a casket match with Jerry the King Lawler, and he's 73 years old, dude. This is a great sentence to be able to say. <laughs> yep. I just met what him an amazing thing to say. Dude, I, and I some of the heat I brought Lawler. to that man, dude, leading up to it, like I, I made the vintage throwback uh, Raw videos, like, and I wrestled him in the Mid-Hudson Civic Center, which is like where Macho Man debuted with Miss Elizabeth, where Randy Savage fucking, uh, I mean... It was. It's a legend. It's where Andre got his hair cut by Big John Stud. It's like fucking cool shit, right? So I wrestled him at the Mid Hudson Civic Center in a casket match, and obviously I lost. And he put me in the casket, right? To a seventy-three-year-old man. Jesus so here's Christ, the man. here's the theater, brother. Here's the theater. Anything? How bad to- is your sciatica? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, anything Lawler? can happen in wrestling, dude. Yeah, it's I like. Know. You know, that's the fun part of it, right? And the script of it, you know? With Jerry, I shared a locker room with him that day, and, like, he told me all these old stories, and I'm just sitting there, like, you know, I was like, I love wrestling, so that was cool. Sure. But fucking uh, Jerry Jerry the King Lawler, bro, a ding, 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 I run out of my drop kick him, right? And then I just walked around the ring talking shit, you know? Didn't touch him after that. But what I made the mistake of doing was going to the top rope. And when I went to the top, I jumped off, and he moved out the fucking way, and I fucking crash landed, right? You know, now I took myself out, slip on a banana peel, and then this fucking guy goes and grabs brass knuckles. I turn around, I walk up to him, you know, Ginger, because he's an old man. I'm not going to hurt the fucking guy, right? You know what I mean? So I walk up Enzo, to him. are you describing this like it's a real fight? Yep. <laughs> we know. <laughs> this motherfucker took out brass knuckles. In and out. Bop me. Bop me. I love put, telling put me right in the gas. You're yeah. telling a, w- the lid. a WWE fight like it's a bar story <laughs> is the greatest thing uh, ever. So he goes, this motherfucker hits me with a steel uh, chair. Yeah, he goes, I'm dude. on the ground holding my nuts. 
nuts for an inordinate <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm upside down in a vertical suplex. So he tries to My punch feet me. pointing straight in the air somehow. He tries to punch me. I don't know how that happened, man. <laughs> He, oh, well, well, no, I can't give it away, guys. He, kicks the, he kicks the referee in the head by accident. He's this walking, guy's out guy. for five full minutes. He hits me with a wood and steel bell. I'm still living. Couldn't believe it, bro. Yo, you were like every single friend of mine from home, except you have all your fingers and you're successful. It's incredible. Uh, I, I am like in awe. It sounds like I'm hanging out with every friend of mine named Yeah, Joey. success it's is a state of mind. Iron workers, stay yeah. yeah. yard guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, Enzo, you know, you'd have been a dock novels. worker. You'd have been something blue collar. Lewis, do you? Oh, well, uh, I was a mover when they found me. Yeah. I was a mover. Wait, I was working what on do you a mean mover. They found you. Bro, they found me, man. I went viral on YouTube. <laughs> he accidentally packed himself in a box. <laughs> hey. Delivered hey. Deliver to Vince McMahon, <laughs> Greenwich, hey. Connecticut. Slap. I'm fucking in a box over here. <laughs> Blonde hair sticking yeah. out of the package. Ah. Ah. He's got a puke. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I think that box is moving. Yeah. <laughs> I made a YouTube video and went viral. I got a tryout in the WWE. I never wrestled a match in my fucking life. But Dusty Rhodes was like, yeah, kid can talk some shit. We're going to hire him. And we fucking. He said it with a lot more spit, though. Make that boy can fuck so much shit. I'm going to make a thing. I'm going to make a thing. I'm going to make a thing. All, I got, of all I got out of I my I feel like he, he made you fuck Sweet Sapphire in front of him while he filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> the American oh, dream, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, the American it. dream. Yo, that guy had more swag than anybody in the history of anything. Goddamn right. He walked around. He called him. Everybody called him Dream. He had you a 72 I mean? inch Imagine waist. People just call you Dream. And he can fuck your bitch, you know what I mean? Dude, like, sweet, the guy sweet. had swag. He dude. chose, as a fat man, to wear his pants over the belly instead of under. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's what happened. If it's you, a real choice you got to make as a fat man. If you if you have a, a baby with a black woman, there's a chance it can come out like gold dust. Oh, yeah? A yeah. little? Yeah, who knows? Mem uh, remember when the Million Dollar Man stole Sapphire from Dusty Rhodes? Put her to work in the fields. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, story, she was like a black chick, that's right. Was just you don't remember Sweet Sapphire? I do now, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black yeah. Sweet Sapphire. The story was just Bob that... Sweet uh, Sapphire. So, Dusty, uh, Dusty Rhodes, and that, and that was his chick. I love the, Sweet Sapphire. This is what, she's a lunch lady. It was like, <laughs> on the show, this is it. I what? She looks like Mom's Mabley. What the hell is this? I was a crossing guard for his boy. <laughs> 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 hey y'all, what's up? He he saved. Put me. some hot sauce on it. I'm working on a catchphrase. Put some hot style. sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Dusty! Put some hot sauce on it now. Who this white bitch? She ain't moving in, is she? Let her watch. <laughs> uh, Dusty uh, Rose make the pussy cream. <laughs> I get what mad for, Dude, pull up a I promo. get mad wet for this a, motherfucker. Pull up a Dusty promo Rose's, between Sapphire and, and Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose's torso looks like a whistling face. <laughs> dude. Oh, that killed me. Oh, it's so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, he, he was great, dude. But yeah, dude, you should have a whole Sapphire segment on this show every so often. Every, oh, we, dude, anytime there's a black woman on the screen, we do pretty yeah, much. I would. <laughs> I've only got one. I've only got like one or two black lady voices. They're all fat. <laughs> yeah. By the way, in a little oh, bit, we're going to talk about a gospel cool. singer that got booted off a Delta flight, and Jay's like going to do the same voice. Yeah, same voice. Yeah. Wait, hold right on. Right now. Yeah. Look at it. She goes, "Why you put your hands on me? I ain't going nowhere. I did not think you, you the first you motherfucker ain't hit me. <laughs> Look at that love right there." <laughs> I keep his I house clean. I keep his do dick do wet. She is on quake. This is psychotic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Why not? I wish I knew the whole backstory. This relationship, the realest thing in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I call it wrestling still. Is there anybody that's a reputation for whatever reason that you're like, I would knock into the Well, like the Ultimate Warrior, they said he sucked because he would hurt you because he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Well, I mean, it's Have you worked with like bad wrestlers before? That I'm fuck like you the up? Jerry Lawler of my era in terms of like what I do in the ring. You'll hit people with brass knuckles? Nah, yeah. There you go. What you do you mean by that? Dude, I love, yeah, I love Enzo dismissing you, you bitch. Oh, that ruled. I, I love, I, I, I get tactical in there. You yeah. got it. No, I'm giving him praise. Yeah. Like, I, I agree. Like, like, <laughs> I do, like, less is more, you know? Less is more. John Cena does what they call the five moves of death. 
It's like he does the same five fucking moves every Spear. night. You know they're coming, and everybody knows they're coming, and when they come, the fucking match ends, and it's over, right? It's like Hulk Hogan hit the fucking, you know, the, the punches, the boot, the leg drop, and a match was over. It's kind of like being a comedian and having your signature, you know, fucking bit. So, you know, for me, my signature bit was talking shit and getting the shit beat out of me. So I, I didn't really have to do much. It is amazing I'm, that as little kids, we all got so into Hulk Hogan and believed they were real fights, like that they weren't scripted. What? And, uh, like, <laughs> little kids, I feel like when we were little, I mean, I'm I, was talking, little, I thought it was really like true. five, yeah. six years old, and we just thought the fight went the almost same like, way, way almost every like single Santa, time. Like Santa Claus, I almost don't ever really remember believing that it was real. I uh, I, I remember I did. Oh, I had me fooled. Maybe you were smarter than me. Oh, what I love yeah. what I love is Dude, I remember the first when I the first, first, the first day of training, ready to fight. Well, <laughs> well, I was devastated when I found out that shit wasn't real. You well, know, he's going to tell me oh, shit. I was lines. fighting. I was fighting. It was when Vince McMahon goes, you're going to win tonight. And you went, hope so, boss. <laughs> he goes, no, 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 you're going to win. My <laughs> and then you were beating a guy who was letting you win. And you go, what the fuck is this guy doing? Uh, oh, God. Fight back, you idiot. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. How do, how do you figure that out? They go, okay, you're going to win. But how you get there is up to you guys. Is that what they do? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>